This is the six inch smooth operator build step one. This video is part of a series on how to build the six inch smooth operator quadcopter. Step one. And the first thing we need to do is figure out how we're gonna place things on our bottom plate. By the way, the small hole is the front, the large hole is in the back. I've already put the standoffs on and that's where our ESC is going to go. The standoff holes in the back are for the flight controller. I haven't put those on yet. So we need to figure out how are we going to orient these two boards because it may not fit if I put this here and this here. Also consideration is the top plate. We have a hole here where we're going to put a grommet for the pigtail wires of the ESC to come out. They can come out the right side or the left side. So are you going to orient your ESC this way or this way? Or in my case, I decided to do it this way because I want the pads for the ESCs to be facing the outside to make repairs easier. It might be more difficult if I do it this way. I've also did a little pre-assembly and I found this will fit in the recess underneath. So I'm good about that. So now that I've done that, the next thing I need to know is, well, I've got to get connect the JST connectors. Is that what this is? The JST? I forget exa exactly. We need to connect that to that. Now I had to make my own harnesses because this is an older model uh, ESC and I looked at the pinouts there and the pinouts there and well pray to God that I got this right or we'll be seeing smoke. I also made some notes F for flight controller and E for ESC. So at first I made this one and I thought well at that point I thought I might put it sideways and if I were to put it in well, it would be very, very long. And I want to snake this underneath. So you see, if I did this, that's just going to be a lot of slack. So I ended up making this one, and this is just big enough to go between E for ESC. F flight controller in there. Always double check those pins. And my hope is I will be doing it as such. And that's how I've decided to get my orientation. By the way, you'll notice there's four holes here too. I can mount the flight controller here or here. So I'm not sure what difference it's going to make for me. So I'll probably just put it in the forward holes because it fits. And that's my first decision. And when the wire comes up, it will come through something like that. So there's your first decision that you need to make before you even start your assembly. Oh, and very, 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 very important. If you are going to turn this as I have turned it all the way around, here's a little chart of the motors. Originally, this was set up to be like this with motor one, two, three, and four. Well, guess what happens? I turned it this way. So I have to go into beta flight and remap these motors so this is one this is two, this is three, and this is four. Now, if you don't know how to remap your motors, Joshua Barwell has a great video on doing it. That's how I learned, and I'll have that link in the video descriptions below. So you can do that, because again, if you reordi, re, reor, reorient your ESC, you do have to remap the motor ports. That's it for that video, and I'll see you in the next video. Step two. Thanks for watching till the end of this video. 
This video is part of a series on how to build the 6 inch smooth operator quadcopter. I hope you found it valuable. If you did, please consider being one of my Patreon subscribers. I'm Joel Liecatcher and I really appreciate your spending your time with me. Remember to click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll know when my next video goes up.